Hi crafty friends, I want to show you a little card today. Um, I was um, going through uh, Pinterest again like I always do and I found a card by Mixed Up Craft and it was just gorgeous. It was a um, swing card. I don't know how well you can see that. But inside there's a little mechanism that makes the little boat swing backwards and forwards. I do have a video of it, I will pop it up so that you can... standing flat. This was the one I made last month using the B and the stamp of the month which was uh, I can't remember the name of it. It was a beautiful one anyway and it had a big bouquet of flowers on it and I will put up the name of it but that was the one I made last month and I put some um, stickles on the bee's wings to give them a bit of a flap. But um, this is the one I'm making for you today. The base, base is slightly different on here than the other one. But it, um, I don't know if you can see that swinging. But it really is a cute little card and it looks like the boat's bobbing around on the sea. So let's get started making it. Now I've already pre-done some of the things because it just takes too long if I sit here and do it all. Um, little piece here, our clear piece. Now I just keep the lids from... The, the, you know, the Christmas cracker boxes and anything that comes with the, this like thicker acetate type of stuff, I keep all of that and just cut it down and put it in a bag and have ready. And this one measures um, 3 8 of an inch by 2 inches. So I better not lose that, which is what I will do. <laughs> now a little bit for our mechanism inside, it's a really tiny piece. It measures 1 and a quarter inches by half an inch wide and you score it at half an inch a quarter of an inch on either end and then at I think it's three eighths of an inch no five eighths of an inch through there oh, so that's a quarter five eighths and then a quarter on that end so that you have a little bit that's going to look like that that goes with the other bit you need a split pin or a brad as they like to call them I've always called them a split pin uh, for our tag at the top here for our happy birthday this is two and one eighth by uh, one inch yep and this is uh, seven eighths by two inches and we're gonna we're going to stamp on that and have the happy birthday um, for the card you actually need three white squares which measure now the I'll get to the card in a minute. These measures measure four and three quarters by four and three quarters, and you'll need three of those. You want one for the back, one for the inside, and one for the front. This helps keeps the card nice and sturdy. I've already stamped and cut out my boat and my lighthouse, and where are oh, they now? <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the one I've used. Seize the day scrapbooking um, cartridge, and I've used those because I just really love them and I've just coloured them in by hand using the markers and here are the markers that I used uh, true blue, ice uh, grey, uh, dark red, light yellow and um, dull green so that's the colours I used to colour in my boat and my lighthouse uh, so we've got all those now we do need um, two pieces of glacier that we're going to tear those in a minute uh, this one is one and a half inches by 12 and this one is one inch by 12 we'll need a piece of um, toffee that is one and a quarter inches by four and three quarters I didn't feel the need to have a big long piece now for our actual base for our card this measures 12 inches by five inches yep and we're going to score it. Now I've already done it, but I'll do it again for you. Oh, excuse me, I've just knocked over my... <coughs> Actually, I'll get out the bigger scoreboard. It'll make it easier for you. So there's my bigger scoreboard. Oh, it's looking a bit grubby, a bit tacky. So we're going to... Oh, where do I put it here? So we're going to score it at five inches. I can't see, probably 10 inches, uh, 10 and 3 quarters and 11 and a half inches and that's all we need to score. And like I said on our little bit, if you take it 
and you lay it in and the best way I found was to score it at one inch because it's easier than trying to go over there turn it score it at one inch again and then at um, five eighths of an inch through there and that gives you your little piece like I said so this is our card so we'll burnish and fold all our score lines and I'm using sapphire cardstock today to make this card this one folds backwards and this one folds up so that is the base of the card that becomes the stand piece underneath so we'll pop that aside for a minute because the next thing we're going to do is actually um, take two of our pieces and with the gla glacier ink <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry about that we're going to sponge our front and now it's not real dark but you can have it as dark as light and I like the way that this gives it that sort of a almost cloudy appearance as well so there's one piece they just both need to be exactly the same I don't know how well this is showing up but it's just a soft tone and it gives it that slightly more I don't know I don't know how we can see that but it just makes it look like clouds a fluffy cloudy sky so that's all I was aiming for right so now I'm going to take my little birds so you just need to do that now I did around the lighthouse after I cut it and coloured it out, I actually went round the edge very carefully and just coloured that because on here it's white, but I wanted it to blend more in and just have it so that the lighthouse itself popped out and not the surrounding edge. So that's what I did there. Um, put that away, grab out our black. So, and we'll just add some little birds in. Now this can be our inside of our card, so just a couple of birds there, and on this one I've decided to put some up in the top top corner, I didn't do it on the other one, but I just feel that, I think I'm cutting most of that out, crikeys, anyway, don't do what I just did and get ink all over the front. So now what we're going to do, I'll put that over out of the way for a minute, is take the front of our card. now. The front piece of our card is where this bit is. This is the back. So we're going to attach this just like that. Now you want to put a few strips in. And we're going to adhere that to the front like so. And then we're going to bring in the big shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh gosh, that's heavy. Right. So here's our big shot in. And again, I'm going to be using the um I think what it's called. Do this. Uh, card front spinner. So I'm just using that piece there to cut out the circle in the front of my card. Oop, I should have worked out where I was going to put the bird. Because one of them's going to get clipped a bit. But that's okay. That'll be fine. So just lay it on. And now we're going to run that through. So I'm cutting through both pieces of the cardstock. So the card was completely open when I did that. So I'm only cutting through the front and not through the whole. So that's what we've got. Right. Ooh, I 
was close with that verb, that's okay. So now the next thing we're going to do is pop that aside and we're going to tear our pieces here in half. Now this one here, um, I've actually got it ready. Now I found the best way is small tears and tear it towards you. Because our cardstock has a white core inside and it's two different shades, I can now have both white edges up and have a light and a dark piece, which is just what I was after. Oh no, I've run out. There we are, fresh one. Oh, that one's close to running out too. Oh well. So we'll just attach that to the top, like so. And that will give me my sandy beach that I can now, in a minute, I will put that on top of there. Now this one here, I think I've already... Did I mark it? No, I didn't. So I want to tear this one. This is one and a half, so I want to tear it a half inch strip off. And this will give me my waves down the on the water. But I thought instead of just doing small pieces all the time, just make one long strip and then put it all together. Like so. So I can put that on top of there like that. And then I'll do this one. Which way have I got this one? Oh, I'll have to work it out now. So that's dark, light. Hmm, I've torn the wrong side. That's okay. I'll just go backwards. And I want the dark side out. There we go. A little bit can go on the bin. There we are. So that's my water. So I'll just stick all that together. There we have it, there's all my water. So now I'll just cut that in half. So I'll lay that in and I'll turn it upside down because I like that other end. And I'm going to cut that at four and three quarter inches. And I'll do it again. So I've got one for the front and one for the back. There they are. So I'll put one on the inside, I rather like this one. So that can go on the inside panel here. Like so. And when that's ready, that'll go on the inside of the card like that. And the outside one, now I need to be careful because I've only got a certain spot where I can adhesive which is just around the edges and that is going to go on to here so because this if I put any glue on there it would have stuck to the rest of it now for my lighthouse now I've already pre-marked where I wanted it to go now I'll put the I'll put the I might have to trim, I'll take that piece off I think. And I'll sit this one on, but I'm going to tear that a little bit more. Mm. Yeah. That's better. So now I'll adhere that to the front. 
So that's my beach scene. And I've made a marked pencil mark through here and I'm going to just cut through there and cut that piece off. And then I'm going to adhere with some 3D foam dots my little I should have put the birds up high. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I'll get some dots and adhere those on. Now I know that where I want it to sit, I need a dot on that corner. And a couple of dots here. And I'll put that on. There we are. And I um, used some toffee ink to go around the bottom so it all blended in. So that's what I've done there with that. So now for the inside. So what we're going to do now is actually insert our mechanism for the swing piece. So now I've got this little bit. Now I've got a one eighth of an inch hole punch and I'm going to make a mark just in the middle and that's where I'd like that's where I need to punch. Right. Now I should have stuck that together. That's okay, there it is all stuck together. Now I'm going to take the little bit of acetate, I know it's really hard to see, and just towards the top edge I'm going to punch another hole. There we are. And then I'm going to take my scissors and gently curve that piece there. So that when it goes together, it will swing nicely. And it just fits in like so. And then you open the pins. Try not to squash them too flat. Because you do want this to, to move backwards and forwards. Like so. Now we'll bring our piece here. Now I'm going to use some glue for this bit. Because it's a mechanism and it works all the time, it needs to be securely put down. So I'm going to find a point in the middle, which I know will be at three inches. No, it won't. It's two and a half, Colsey. So that's where I need to go. At two and a half inches in, And I'm just adding some glue to the inside section. And now I'm going to adhere my little bit. Now the the middle section where the where the fold, the fold and the fold line here have to meet and match. So that is my swing section on my card now. I don't know how well you can see that. You see how easily that moves? Right, so now we're going to adhere our card together. And like I said, sometimes you just need something stronger to put it together with, so I'm just going to use some more glue. Oh, I do like this little bottle my friend bought me. Thanks, Tina. And then, if you pop that out, your card should just fold straight down onto the top of there. And then you can, once you know it's sealed, Then you can pop that bit back inside and that becomes the base of your card. And you can't see it. 
Where's my oh, I've lost it? What have I done with it? There it is. So there it is there. So that's your card getting to a point. Now I've squashed my card and sorry I kept going out of focus. I keep forgetting I've got to be in the middle. In the middle. So now I'm going to add adhesive to this back piece. And I'm going to slide that on the inside. Line it up. Try and get it as even as possible on both sides. And now I need to. What's going on here? Come on. Now I'm just going to add a 3D foam. To, where are they? Just a piece of 3D foam to the middle here. And then I'm going to take my boat that I made and lay him in underneath and adhere him on. So now he swings. I don't know if you can see, but he swings freely backwards and forwards. You can see him coming out the side. So he's already in on the water. And the next thing I'm going to do now is do the back and the birthday greeting. Which is there. So onto the back, I've decided to... I've got to put the glacier in. There it is. Go all the way around just the edges. It's a really light colour. It's not, it doesn't show up on the video very well, but it is there. And it's just as a way of tying all of it in together. some black for my other bits so I just want now I will wipe that because I did get ink everywhere so I'm just going to pop some birds up in the corner here like so oh crikey that wasn't good I'm going to add the boat down into this corner here. And the happy birthday. Oh, I'm not doing very well. I keep getting ink everywhere today. Into the middle. And that's for my back. Now for my happy birthday panel. Hope that's straight. Yep, that'll do. And now I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to dovetail the end, just one end. So I'll put it together. Actually, the best way to do it is to add a bit of adhesive into the back, place it on the top so that you've got evenness all the way around. like so and then cut and then lift it off add some more adhesive and then layer it on so you get the really nice even cut and an even border all the way around and then just on to, yep, top and the bottom corner. Bring it up and add it on to the top here. Like so. And that is my 
um, swing her. Now if you wanted to, like down here on the corner of this one, I added a little bit of extra grass. I just took my, and I don't know where I've put it, I thought it was here, here it is. I just took a marker and I just drew some random strands of grass. And then I took the pin and then I just drew over them just to make them look like the other one. That's all I did. So that's my version of um, Mixed Up Crafts little swing card that she made. I'll put a link in my blog for you to go and have a look at hers. I made a little flag to put on the top of that one but I thought I'd keep this one plain. And yeah, that's just them moving backwards and forwards in the card. So I hope you like this little project and give it a go. So till next time, keep on creating and bye for now.